Hello, my name is Shade, and today we will be discussing The Shock of the Fall by Nathan Filer, I believe is pronounced. This will be a spoiler-free review, and that's because I don't really have a lot of opinions in terms of like the actual plots and the ins and outs of the story. This is about how would one describe this? The blurb isn't very specific, it doesn't actually tell you a lot about the story, so going into it you don't entirely know what to expect, and so I kind of don't want to really tell you too much. Uh, it has mental health themes in it. The main character suffers with mental health issues throughout the novel. That's why I read it. I read this for my psychology class because we were doing schizophrenia. I mean that's kind of what the main character described as having. And so my teacher said this would be a good one to read to you know get your head around the idea. And so I went into this like not even caring just First of all, I don't know why I thought I wasn't going to like it, but just kind of not dislike it, but you know when you have to do wider reading for school very often, it's not the most enjoyable. And so I wasn't expecting to love it that much, I was just going to read it, it was very short and whatnot, and I flew through it. Before I knew it, I was so attached to the main character, Matthew, I believe his name is. The writing style is very good. I don't know how to say it other than it's really easy to read. Matthew is very to the point. He's pretty blunt about a lot of things. He's very very well done. He feels like a real human being. Like someone else said this and I couldn't agree with them more. He feels like an actual human who is telling you his life and you're reading what had happened to him. I grew very attached to Matthew. He's funny, kind of quirky, kind of different. He's also troubled and has his fools as well. I read this like a guilty pleasure read, you know one of those that you just kind of want to consume. <laughs> it's told very interestingly. There's different timelines. At one point you know he's on a type on computer, at other points he's using a typewriter. And he's basically decided that he wants to get his story out there, he wants to tell the story of his life. The actual title, if you have read the book, you'll know you'll know. It sums it up so perfectly, like the shock of the fool. It happens within the first couple of chapters and he's referring to the shock of the fool as in he like he tripped, he fell and like obviously when you fall there's that shock, you know, you weren't obviously expecting to fall and there's that, you know, instant of panic, like falling into the illness I guess and falling into the trouble that's become and the shock of it all. This cost me like 1p. I can't remember if I got it off eBay, Amazon. The shipping cost like a, a couple pounds. Like used condition, I mean it's it's used, it's kind of like slanted. This is really good condition and it's hardcover. Score. It was just, it was very heartwarming. I can't put into words the, the, the emotions that you got out of it. It was like a very heartwarming, it was kind of reminiscent of reading The Color Purple. I loved The Color Purple. It's probably my favorite classic. And it's pretty depressing. Things just kind of get worse and then worse and then worse, but you come out of it feeling really inspired and it's really heartfelt and it brought me so much joy, even though it's dealing with a lot of upsetting, sad topics. This is kind of a similar situation, I feel like, with this one, is a lot of seriousness he's troubled things don't always work out too hot for him but you get this really heartwarming sensation reading it it also reminded me a little bit of perks from um, the perks of being a wallflower because charlie in perks is also telling you his life and kind of his situation what's going on and he's kind of his ups and downs it kind of has that same decently emotional but also educational i not educational but you learn a lot from it you kind of realize more about different aspects of life like i came out of them feeling better having read them so that i can have a better understanding like they're kind of coming of age stories as well so they've, they've got those aspects to them I would definitely recommend this one. I'm not sure if everyone's going to connect to it as much as I did. There's a lot of really, really good reviews out there. Because it's not necessarily told in chronological order, he did it well. You're kind of getting little pieces of puzzle and then kind of figuring it out in general. Yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, slash night. My name's Jade. I hope I see you again next time. Bye.